Now, before we went over the most dominant meta of all time in Overwatch, and while there's arguments to be made that Bastion or Ironclad Bastion is the most powerful hero that we've ever seen, I actually don't think it holds a candle to this character that completely dominated for his time. And as you're gonna see, compared to how he is now, this character was ridiculously broken. Now, going back to the beginning of Overwatch 1 and the Overwatch 1 beta, we saw some ridiculous balance coming from. From the devs where numbers just didn't make sense certain characters had some completely overpowered abilities and in cassidy's case or mccree at the time it was his actual fan the hammer now a seemingly unassuming ability at least now right it doesn't really make a lot of sense in cassidy's current kit but back then it comboed pretty well with his stun right he had a stun back before it got replaced by the heat seeking missile that it is today and you could stun a person and then you could fan the hammer them but it wasn't something that could do a lot of damage from far away, and it wasn't something that was typically used to burst down tanks nearly as much as it was used to just, like, kill squishies for people who couldn't aim. But that was not the case in the first iteration of Fan the Hammer. Peacekeeper had nearly no drop-off, and Fan the Hammer in particular did 70 damage per bullet. Now, if you compare that to what it is today, it's between 15 and 50 damage, most of the time being the former because it just falls off so quickly. And after those 20 meters, you're really not doing a lot of damage. Plus, it has such a wide overall spread that you're just not going to hit all of these bullets consistently from any more than like five feet away. But we're going to take those numbers, the numbers of the original fan, the hammer, and we're going to look at what all of them look like if they hit. And it's going to do 420 damage. And if you rolled, you got another fan the hammer, of course. So you could actually fan the hammer a tank, roll, and then fan the hammer a tank again for a whopping 840 freaking damage. And if you look at some of the clips from back then, it's ridiculous how tanks were just insta-deleted by this character. You were just like basically the tank destroyer. Not only that, but you could stun them too. So imagine getting stunned, fan the hammered for 420 damage from like 5 feet away, rolled, and then just insta-killed after the fact. Like, it's ridiculous just how strong this was back then. And if we actually took this and we just straight up applied it to Overwatch today, like, this would just break the game in half. And this is kind of my argument for this being the most powerful character that we have seen because there's a lot of variations of characters where if you took them from the past, like let's say Ironclad Bastion, and you put him into the game today, he wouldn't be anywhere near as strong as he was back then because he was actually stronger back in the old meta. But I think this new Cassidy would be just insanely strong right now. I mean, what tank could live against him if you could stun and double fan them. I mean, tanks would just have to completely avoid this guy at all costs, and that's not really an option for tanks. I mean, not really. So you could literally just play speed the cast around, let's go kill the tank. <laughs> it's just so stupid, but it's actually a viable strategy if that Cassidy was in the game today. Now, pretty soon off the bat, they realized just how busted this was. So on the 14th of June, 2016, they removed the bullet damage from 70 to 45. And eventually it did get bumped up a little bit, but it depends on range. And, you know, now today it's going to be effectively weaker than that the majority of the time. And without flashbang, there's also just like an ongoing discussion of whether or not Cassidy even still should have fan. Like it doesn't really make sense for fan the hammer to be part of his kit when he doesn't have the flashbang that was clearly meant to pair with it back in the day. So, I don't know. You tell me how you feel about Fan the Hammer. Do you think Cassidy should even have that ability? Should it be replaced, reworked, just like Magnetic Grenade is probably gonna be? Let me know in the comments down below. And how strong do you think this version of Cassidy would be in freaking Overwatch 2? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.